What's up YouTube, it's your boy KC Sims back with another video. So now listen, I know the title and the thumbnail might have been clickbait, but hear me out, I have a good reason. So what I have is the Fuji 18 millimeter 1.4. Now, once you add the crop factor, that becomes a 27 millimeter, roughly around 27 millimeter. So, I bring that up for one reason, because a lot of photographers don't like shooting this focal length because it's considered the same length that a lot of cell phones use, focal length that a lot of cell phones use. So, a lot of people feel like they can't get good portraits out of this or use it for a portrait camera uh, lens because Again, it's too similar to a cell phone um, focal length. But this just happens to be my favorite lens, the best lens I have. And I have the, uh, the 33 1.4 and the 51.0, which is a portrait lens, but I really don't get too excited about shooting those lenses like I do when I shoot this one. Uh, I don't know what it is about it, but when I look back, some of my favorite images was captured were captured with the 18 1.4. And I don't know, every time I put it on my SC3, oh man, it just, it, it makes me want to go out and shoot it and see what I can create with it. So uh, yeah, I, you know, I, I feel like everyone should start to kind of get outside of their comfort zone a little bit. I know 85 and 105, whatnot, are the traditional portrait lens. And you know, you got to deal with distortion and all this. I understand all that, I understand that. But I feel like if you really want to get creative, something around this focal lead. I, I even like this better than the 35, you know. Um, but yeah, this is my favorite lens. So we're out here today in the open field, man. I'm about to do a shoot with one of my models just waiting for her to um, show up. Uh, the setup that she has is like a sheer kind of top. So it got some nice wind out here, so hopefully I can get some photos with uh, the wind blowing. But all the shots will be taken with the 18 1.4. Uh, again, just see what you can create, man. Even though it's considered boring, and it's considered a cell phone focal link, um, you still can create some really, really nice images with this focal link. So stay tuned. I hope you enjoyed the video. Check it out. So let me have, um, let me have you like kind of holding on to the hat. Um, not so much, yeah, right, like that. And then let's have you looking off this way. Um, and then now I'll cut your eyes back at me right there. I'm gonna try to get with that sun, I know. Yes, there you go, so I can see, there it goes. Perfect. 
the uh, one side of the hat with the, uh, yeah, look off to the east side. So as you can see, it was pretty windy out. I wanted to bring my um, soft boss, but I knew it was gonna be a pretty windy day. And with me being by myself, I figured I'll bring the reflector. But as you can see, I was still fighting with that. Um, the wind was just too much. So made the best of it. guys that's the end of the video um had a great shoot got some great photos out of it and i want to say a bit thank you to tamaria for coming out helping me i know it was windy uh started to get hot like midway through the shoot so she did great she didn't complain about it we just kept going forward um so again bit thank you hope you guys enjoyed the video and let me know if you use anything this wide for your portraits um i think it'll be a good thing to kind of get out and experiment and get away from the usual that you do again i love my 18 um equivalent to a 28 millimeter um it's my favorite lens and i think i do my best work with that lens. so again drop it down in the comments and let me know what you think about it make sure to like comment and subscribe and until the next time we'll see you